Hey guys, I got a new phone. I went to Sprint today and got a new phone. Sprint is my carrier. I have had them for over 15 years. I had them when they were a company called Nextel, uh, and then they merged with Sprint. But today, I got a new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, prior to this, I had the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So I just upgraded. Uh, last year, I got the 9 Plus. This year, I get the 10 Plus. So for me, living as a nomad, I often say my phone is my greatest resource for maps, for directions, for work, uh, for my uh, side hustles, uh, whether it's YouTube, DoorDash. Uh, it's a business expense. Uh, in my main job, my side hustles, and in my personal time, it's my TV. Uh, it's my surround sound system. It's my navigation system. Your phone is your greatest resource. Your phone is a computer, uh, one of the most advanced computers uh, in the world, to be honest with you. So $1,000, $1,000 uh, for new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Uh, worth every penny, in my opinion. Worth every penny. And part of a, a business uh, expense in my also. But I'm making this video right now with the phone. Um, change is painful. Change is painful. When you get a new phone, uh, a half hour or so you're going to spend in the store uh, getting it set up. Then about four hours you'll spend you know, re-up, re-downloading all your apps, configuring the Android phone how you want. Androids are a little bit more customizable than iPhone, so it requires a little bit more work, but I like that, but it's just a little bit more painful. And, you know, then you got to get everything to sync again. You got to get used to it. So there's pain involved in change, but it's necessary to grow and adapt. And your phone, being that it's so important in my life, uh, it's the, this is a no-brainer for me. Um, and so uh, the major difference I noticed is that the fingerprint is no longer in the back of the phone with your index finger. The fingerprint is on the screen in the front and the bottom with your thumb, which I like. It makes it easier to unlock. Outside of that, it seems faster. Uh, I'm still playing with it, so I'm not a technical review guy. Um, and for me, I, upgrading a phone every year, none of them ever seem revolutionary. Sometimes what's revolutionary is you get the, um, the operating system software updates as they go, but the phone itself is very advanced. Uh, you know, uh, a lot more advanced than the 9 Plus, a little bit more it feels like. Again, the technical details, there's other sites for that. Uh, but the, my main purpose for this video is to document, you know, that I value an upgraded phone. Uh, and it's painful, though, to get a new one, uh, not just for the cost, but the cost is justified as a business expense and uh, for your own quality of life to navigate life, pay your bills, all those things, and make money. And I mean, that's it. I'm just sharing with you. I mean, I use Sprint. Uh, I've traveled up and down the East Coast. Does Sprint pay me? No, I pay them every month. Does Samsung pay me? No, I uh, just paid them $1,000. Why I make this video? Because I often share with you guys how important your phone is. You want to get an iPhone, you want to get a Verizon, do whatever you want. But after you invest about $1,000 and about four to six hours of pain in getting your phone right, you're going to be you're going to have an edge and you're going to need that edge uh, in society and you want to stay integrated with, with technology. You want to be interfacing with the most updated phone because it's only going to help you in this technology era that we're in. Your phone is not a phone, it's a computer and the more updated it is, the more you interact with it, the better I think you are in life at this era. Um, and that's what I wanted to share with you. I'll keep you guys posted. And money emoji and phone emoji and smile emoji because it's worth every penny. All right. Stay positive.